is life a right or a privilege you know a lot of people actually think that they being alive is a right like it's their right so today i'm going to be sharing with us three major facts you must know about life and do not forget life is a privilege so be grateful each day each time each moment you share it's an opportunity for you that should be maximized like i said earlier i'm going to be sharing with us three major facts you must know about life number one i have to pen them all down so i'll take them one after the other life isn't forever life isn't forever so do not live life like you are totally in charge and that no one else matters have you heard of this word yolo you only live once why not maximize your time while on earth use up your potential to the fullest live aptly and you know live a life worthy of emulation they say do not add to the wealth of the grave why then mice more in blessed memory said that because they say in the grave are where potentials unused potentials lie so since you only live once why not maximize this opportunity and live life purposefully they say when the purpose of a thing is not known you abuse yourself so know the purpose for which you are born like i said your life is a privilege to you utilize life to the fullest discover more go on different adventures be happy do not let anyone determine when you should be and when you should not be happy so since you only live once maximize your life number two life responds to those who make moves yes life doesn't just happen it happened on purpose life happened on purpose so you need to make a move what is that thing you have within your mind or that plan you set down already to utilize why not put it into you like implement it enforce it bring it to life it's not enough to have your dream in here you need to breathe life into it and how do you breathe life into it by implementing your plans implement your plans until you make move life doesn't move you know what there is an energy that we release to the atmosphere that works for us it could either be positive energy or negative energy it all depends on what you release into it so since life happened on purpose and doesn't just happen you need to release a positive vibe a positive energy you need to release an atmosphere of readiness to life before life can be ready for you if you want to get a prize you need to run the race you don't just sit in a place and expect things to happen the same way with life life doesn't just happen life move when you move they said the earth is moving so fast that it looks like a constant so do not be deceived that things are not probably is just the same everything change every second morning in africa might be night in europe time zones differ so do not be deceived by that make wise use of your now make wise use of your breath use it to the glory of god use it to exalt the things of god use it to touch lives positively use it to make impact they said there's a difference between living and existing you might exist and not you know make impact but you can live and not make impact so most persons are actually existing they are not living so do not be part of people who just merely exist if you leave you make impact so that's the only way you can know that you're truly living so make impact and let time remember you even when you are gone they say what we do is what outlive our lives so what will outlive your life when you are finally gone 
Number three and the most important of it all, life is vanity. There's a vanity upon vanity, all is vanity. So what is the point? Embezzling billions of naira all for yourself. What is the point of trading on people just because of your status or your position? What is the point of, of, of envying people? What is the point of, you know, getting jealous of others? What is the point of, you know, bragging about what you are? You ain't going to the grave with everything. None. The only thing you're going to the grave with is your body. Your car ain't going to drive you down to the grave. As a matter of fact, if we were to go with all our possessions, the poor will still remain poor even in heaven. And the rich will still be rich. But then, God knows how everything is done. So life is vanity. Should I say when your breath is vanity? Because one day, the owner of that life will ask for it. The owner of your life, the manufacturer, the producer will ask for it. Will ask for it. So why not just use what you have to bless people? Listen, everything you have is not for you. Your beauty is not for you. Use it to the glory of God. Your money, what's the point spending everything? You eat, you die alone. Why not touch people with it? Why not make impact with it? Why not reach out to people with what you are blessed with? Why not transform lives with what you are blessed with? Knowing and placing at the back of your mind that life is vanity. Your beauty is vanity. They say beauty is vain. Your wealth would pass away in no time. And like the morning mist, it will fade away when you're finally in the grave. Even the poor that dies or who dies would definitely have people to bury them. Seven feet below the ground is where everyone will travel to, whether rich or poor. And this body is going to decay last, last. And then we all are going to get there and then tell our maker how well or how terrible we've used our life here on earth. Do not forget, no matter how you live your life, that there is an afterlife and it's in two face. Do not forget, whether or not you are from one religion or the other, there is an afterlife for everybody, heaven or hell. So utilize the life so as to live life after life, which is the true life, eternal life. Yes, I'm going to be stopping right here today. Um, if you are uh, new to my channel, I want to appreciate you for you know stopping by and you are returning subscriber. Thank you for coming again to this channel. Thank you for trusting and believing now. So if you've not subscribed to this channel, please kindly look down on your phone. You see a red icon. Please click on the subscribe button and subscribe to my channel. And by the side, you'll see a notification bell. Click on the notification bell so you could be the first person to get notified of my videos. This is motivational. Here, we inspire you with basically anything on faith, purpose, on success, on relationship and love and several others that inspires us. So do well by supporting us and leave your comment behind and let me think. Let me know what you think about life or if there are other facts you know about life. Thanks for staying with us. Catch you some other time. Motivational. I love you. Bye.